Just a minute or two. Is that how much I'm worth to you? I hope I'm in focus. Good morning, guys. 7 a.m. I made it. I slept. And now I'm hoping that I'm not gonna be so jet lagged today. One thing I can tell you, it's still dark outside. That's not how it was in LA in the mornings. Well, it was foggy, but not dark. But yeah, I just need to get back on the time zone. It's gonna be so much easier as well for the vlogmas and also for my own self. Let's find something cozy to wear. This will do. I want to knit, like a cozy, cozy knit. Let's see which color shall I go for. I want to go all neutrals today for at home. There are quite a few nice things actually here that I haven't worn in a while. Like this feels very soft and this. Shall I go for this? Let's go for this. That's cute. And I feel so cozy and I love the neutrals for at home. I'm wearing these. are like pretty old, I think, from Marks and Spencer's Cashmere Bottoms, All Saints Knit. I'll, I'll try link below if I can find it. And I got really cute Ugg slippers. What else, guys? I have this to unpack and literally I didn't do that yesterday. Why didn't I do that yesterday? It's a good question. I guess yesterday was just a very lazy day considering that. Well, you saw I didn't do anything really. So I think I have two luggages, well, two big suitcases to unpack. One little one and the handbag. Or oh, is that a handbag? It's a travel bag, really. Also, I want to use this day because I cannot leave my house. I want to use this day to actually just do some beauty stuff, enjoy and organize. So I'm gonna have to start somewhere. Let's start from the smallest stuff, like, you know, the easiest tasks. So the diary unpacked. Ta-da! The problem is not even to unpack on this occasion. The problem is that I do not live here, so I don't want to put like things on the shelves because then it's gonna get mixed up with all of this stuff. And I mean, I haven't even shown you my shoe section. Let me take you there. When you see the shoe section, you'll be like, there is not space for one pair of shoes. Not to mention that the bag section is packed too, but hold on for this. So the lights off, hold on. Okay, it's not really helping much, but as you can see, there isn't much space. So to the point, that most of the shoes are like hanging like this and yeah it's really 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 packed but it is what it is i'm unpacked this it's empty now i have to say that this bag gets i think eight out of ten it's a great travel bag it is a little bit heavy i was extremely overfilling it but guys it's incredible how much fits in that bag so much i really maybe i'm exaggerating right now but i feel like it fits more than in it LV Kipel 55, which is massive travel bag. And this is, uh, this is really big, but it's like wide. At one point, I had my Bottega boots with me. So I spent the day in the Sherlings, right? But I didn't want to travel in them because I didn't want to land in London in them. And I wanted to put my boots on, but whatever situation was, and I had to put the boots in uh, that bag. And on top of everything else, the boots also fit. So it was pretty great. Pretty, pretty great. Now, let me see how to handle this. Shall we start? Let's see. I have, I clearly forgot to put one divider, so I have three dividers. What's the plan? I wanna say, I don't know what I wanna say. Let's try to do this. I was gonna say the plan is to uh, leave all the summary stuff here because it's not, oh, they opened my suitcase. I hate when I find this. Like, when you fly from the States, sometimes they would open your bags and then they would just tell you, like, to protect you and your fellow passengers. We have searched for prohibited items in your bags. Like, it happens not quite often, but if you have two bags, I would say it happens, like, probably one bag will get checked. So they will open the bag occasionally, but it happens. I just don't like it because, like, somehow it is strange to know that somebody went through my bags, you know? Don't you think that's strange? You guys often ask me how I travel with the hats. And actually, I always make sure that I put them in my suitcases. And sometimes I put stuff like underneath, which is soft, so that they always maintain the shapes. That's very important, I think, by the way. So we have my beauty bags. That's always easy to unpack. Love it. And the gifts and the stuff that I brought for people, which are 
Paw Patrol band-aids. So yeah, the plan for today is... Oh, by the way, I bought this... I think I showed you. Have I shown you this? I bought, bought it at Alfred's. It's called the first... Like, it just says the first coffee. And I love it to have like a little takeaway cup. Then I also brought this, the first coffee. It's as well at Alfred's. And it's coffee maker. It's basically like a cafeteria. But yeah, we'll see. Give it a little go. Ah, guys, I didn't show you this. So after the Tom Ford event, I got a pair of sunglasses. They're very out there. I love them. And it was in a goodie bag. I don't know if you're ready for this. I mean, if you ask me, I think they're so freaking cool. Especially if I'm to go skiing or something. I would love... I think they're so glamorous. What do you think? Yay or nay? Oh, all of a sudden, when you put them on, it's like sunny and yellow and everything is so beautiful. And then you take them off and it looks great. So that's new that I haven't shown you. Obviously, I'm not going to like keep you here while I pack all the bags. I just wanted to show you a few bits and bobs. The new bag that I got from Bikid, I love that so, so, so much. Ah, there's another lid for the cafeteria thingy. Then all the products. I brought so many products home. I also like bought the Real Techniques uh, blending thingy box punch because I love them. Oh, this is for the babies. Uh, ah, this. I always buy this one in the States. It's like, um, it's a 10 Miracle Living Plus Carotene. It's basically like something that really looks after your hair. It's a product that is known to like that does these 10 things like maintains uh, increases styling manageability blah 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 helps replace lost protein whatever you know how i unpack when i have loads to unpack i first group things when i have like very little to unpack i just open and i put everything in place but when i have loads to unpack then i just grew and then like beauty i will bring to the bathroom etc hair vitamins i'm gonna take now Five second rule. <laughs> Lol. This one's gonna go to the bin because it was more than five seconds. And that is it. The rest is just clothes, I think. And the shoes. Right? No. Sunglasses. I haven't worn these sunglasses, which makes me very sad. I think they're so fabulous. I don't know if you can see it. I think these sunglasses are super cool. That's just my modest opinion. Jewel some of the jewelry, obviously. I don't pack in the suitcase jewelry obviously but it's just like some more of like a costume jewelry that i packed here uh what was i gonna tell you you know how i told you they opened this suitcase uh to check it at the like customs or like more like security i suppose like tsa and um yes it's annoying because someone goes through your things but it is for the safety so it's kind of fine what i find like really good about it is that actually they put it back exactly how it was like they lock it so obviously i always lock my luggage when i'm traveling it's very important to me and they locked it back so they didn't just leave it you know you know right <laughs> and then i'm packing some of the beauty stuff and this is going back with me this is going back with me this is going back with me this of course my prada jacket is going back with me this could stay this is definitely gonna stay somehow blazer going back with me i am leaving in i don't even know what date is today but i think i think in two days some clean laundry that is coming with me leggings i have with me it's coming with me you see this is the first stage called organization like organizing what i need what i don't need where i put stuff this i love this mug the bootstrap so much no it's not mug the bootstrap sorry it's nancy doyaka what's wrong with me hairbrush this is an eyeshadow brush i want to see it oh my god it's so pretty Comfort brushes are by the way amazing they're quite expensive but they're worth i think smoky eye brush love it these are staying my running shoes for workouts i have another pair everything was so nice and tidy yesterday when i arrived now everything is nice man and now i feel like that tiktok do you know that tiktok when um there's like a voiceover that says right now i think i might have made a little mistake by getting involved in this but it has to be done it has to be done today so i'm gonna unpack and then i'm gonna show you in a nice clean organized space all the packages that i have received stepa can you come and help me i really need help i think i got myself in trouble please I just need you one minute. Is it about your blog? Yes. 
Hi. I would come for a vlog. But what about to help me? Nah. I could suppose. I could suppose. Spare me it. A minute or two. Just a minute or two. Is that how much I'm worth to you? You may come here if you want to be in the shot because the camera is there filming and currently you're not in the shot at all. But if you can. Hello everyone! But I thought you came to help, not to pose. Uh, hello? hello? The camera is there. Which part is unclear? Hello everyone! And we are going again. I'm sorry that I kept you waiting. <laughs> so, what are we doing today, Tamara? Tamara? Uh, we're unpacking. Oh, I brought you something. Oh, from, what from is America. Really? Here. Uh, You're not very excited. I love it. You love it? Uh, yes. Okay, so it's a vitamin. Yeah. From just, Ollie. I'm just going to grab that and show you. I brought this. you. You don't need to show it. It's fine. They can see it. Um, I also bought you something. For like, if you, if you have a little wound. That's that's for brother. But well, do you not like my gifts? I do. Let you very quickly open and, it. Okay, wait. I bought you something else. Uh. Is this so for Vixen? You copied it for Big Jump. No, it's, it's for you. Wait, wait, wait. Let me like find something else Like that band-aid was from you. Peppa Pig and you copied it by Paw Patrol. Wait, wait, wait. Let me find another gift for you. Um. So it was very good while I was away. Well, Ted got Here, here. This is a gift for you. For kids ages 2 plus. <laughs> what? Do you not like it? No, it's just for two plus. I like it, but it's for two plus. But you are two plus. No, I'm not. What do you mean? I'm seven years old. Yeah, but seven is two plus. I'm 32. It's two plus. Two plus means anything above two years. Like Victor. Yeah. Well, he's not three, two. I brought you something else. Here. Okay, you three. But first, coffee. It's when you drink coffee. I'm going to show this to my honey. Do you have honey? AKA mummy. Oh, okay. Your mummy is your honey. <laughs> Typical boy story. A -A. I'm just kidding. These are not gifts for you. So there was no need to pretend you like them. I mean, you can keep them, but I was just kidding. I would obviously get, I always get you the best gifts. I wouldn't give you like a, I wouldn't give you pain relief ointment as a gift, would I? Okay. You know, you were probably thinking, what is this, right? But I will keep this one. The coffee. But did you drink coffee? No, it's for orange juice and water. Maybe. You literally, I was also going to give you this, but I thought that would be too much. It's a foot cream. I thought if I give you also the foot cream that you would literally know I'm, I'm teasing you. I want it. Foot cream? Yeah, my foot always hurts, so. But it's not for pain, it's for moisture. Yeah, that's fine. I'll take all of those other gifts for my child. Your child? Yeah. Do you want to bring gifts to your child? Yeah. Okay. And maybe one day you'll become so popular in our house. I'm already popular, I hope at least in the house, no? Yeah, you are. At least in the house? Yes, you are. Well, you don't seem very convinced. So, bloggers, and um, what do you think? Is that, they're not bloggers, they're viewers, they're watching Viewers, us. so, what do you think? Do you think that I like these gifts? Ted Cook, can you show them? <laughs> Paw Patrol Band-Aid. And all of those other medicines, or do you think I like some really expensive gifts like Lego or battle or battle station? What do you think? Type in the comments. They think that you deserve the band aid. We'll see in the comments. Okay, okay. So you have twenty five days. Wait, did you deserve the Legos and the battleship or whatever it's called? Yeah. Yeah? Why do you think that? Because I've done so many spellings and then when the first time you picked me up, you were so excited. Yes, it's correct. And what did I do then? Didn't I bring you to the pet shop? Yes, but all of the fish were closed. So today, <laughs> fish were closed. viewers, so you are, are gonna... coming in for a special surprise. So maybe when you are released... Well, no. Maybe... So maybe what? I was going to say, maybe when I'm released from the quarantine because currently i'm quarantined i can bring you to the pet shop and finally buy you the fish i promise because hopefully the fish will be now on duty 
you know, because that time that we were going to buy fish, they were on holidays, the fish. Yeah. What kind of fish needs a holiday? Well, fish that were like from the pond. What? Fish that were from the pond. The fish that were from the pond. Why so do they need a viewers, holiday? So viewers, you are coming for a special surprise. Yes. When Tedka comes from quarantine, she'll maybe film another video. Yeah. And you are coming in for a special surprise. You are going to experience the pet shop. So, I'm one sure last so question. If you were a person, well, they are a would person. you rather eat for a fork for the rest of your life or eat with a knife for the rest of your life or eat for a spoon with the rest what of your you life? Do? What would you do? Well, I'd rather eat with a spoon for the rest of your spoon? life. Spoon? Yeah. But how would you eat like pasta, which is your favourite, with a spoon? Yeah, it's fine. I'll do like yeah. It's a drown. I find this very difficult. I know for sure that I wouldn't eat with a knife because you cannot catch anything with a knife. Actually, I think spoon is quite a fair choice. Yeah. What do you think, viewers? Do you pick team knife, team but, fork, or team spoon? But then I always take fork. Well, you can go into team fork. I mean, sure. Okay. So, viewers, write your comments below and. Well, I've got to do some research. If you know any well, facts, type in the comment below. Ted Cobb will tell me I will. what we're researching. I will. Thank you so much for your help. Lego. Lego. Yes. So that's what we're researching. Every single time when we do our Lego, we're going to research something. Uh, 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 Thank you, uh, Ted Cobb, uh, for having uh, me uh, here. Uh, 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 uh. Thank you for having me here. You're very welcome. You know I love you so yes. much. Oh wait, how much do you love me from 1 to 10? 1 million. 1 million! And I also love you viewers. 1 million. <coughs> Goodbye everyone. So, take up. Tell them the research. It's the Lego research. Can you tell us some facts about Lego? I'm going to go now and unpack and then I will join you downstairs in Lego research. Actually, it's in my room. Okay, deal. Okay, Stefan is insisting that we show you the Lego presentation that he did. Show me. So, as I said about Lego, this is what I meant. It took me half an hour. Did you do it yourself? Yes. But be honest. Okay, I may have put some of the pictures there and everything. What do you mean? Yeah, you'll see. But did your mom help you? No. Not at all. Okay, she may have helped you a little and you with the word California and everything. With what? With the word California. That was me that helped you with spelling of California. Yeah, mum had to help with copy and paste and all that. The thing is that I'm very surprised you did this because I'm pretty sure your mum didn't help you because I know that she's not very good with PowerPoint. But she let's see. She only did the copy and paste. Okay, let's see. Lego facts by me. Stephen. Okay. This is a four block. These are minifigures. Do you have any minifigures? Well, no, but I don't have the pack, but I only have these. Okay. Lego. This is a paper about Lego City. Mm hmm Wow! How did you do that? I'll tell you at the end. This is where my aunt went. To California? No, to Florida. Oh, also to Florida. You are so smart. Lego pictures, one. It's not the very best quality Two. picture. Final one, Dribble, please. What? You did Lego so facts. well. I did not build it, Lego, but found great pictures of what I did. did. The oh, Lego so you put a disclaimer. I did not build these Legos, but found great pictures of what others did. That's very nice. Then, read. The word Lego is a fusion of the two Danish words, leg, play, and got. Good. Ah. A common of approximately 40 billion Lego bricks can reach the moon. No way. Yes way. 1,300 Lego pizza made per second, 78,000 per minute and 4 billion 680,000 per hour. Wow. The Lego bricks sold in one year can wrap around Earth five times. No way. Yes, there are 86 Lego bricks for every person on Earth. Wow. Most Lego heads don't have noses, so the pastoral 
graphics remain as clean as possible. Well, that was very random, the last one, wasn't it? Is that the clean... Okay, let's see. I can see, I can see. So, can you see how to make that positive? You may be thinking, that's not true. Well, just take a Lego head like me. I took one. And now look at it. Just look, my one had some glasses, don't mind about the accessories. My one doesn't have a nose, and it's super clean. Can you see? Look All at I can one. see is it that you... It doesn't have really a nose. Wait. And that and that makes it super clean, doesn't it? Yeah, well, why? Does the nose bother you? No, no, no. Uh, when, when Lego was born, it didn't have a nose. Okay. And still, it doesn't have a nose, because experimenters thought that they can maybe put a nose on but then when you know what's a very common question on my youtube channel what? if you can speak serbian so can you say something about legos in serbian pa, da. what can pa, you say Misliš našao si slike uh, Lego kockica yes, koje su dru do drugi sklopili? Yes, I do. The end. Well done, I'm very proud of you. I Me think you too. deserve all the Legos in the world. Guys, quick little Zoom session because we are actually having a call with Lucrezia, our architect, for the Milan apartment, which is getting furnished. And it's like a, kind of like a choosing pieces, like which couch we like, which, you know, you know how it works like do we want the chair which color do we want the wall and since covid i'm actually very happy that the zoom calls are working so well so that we can we can choose these things over the call and it's so much easier so we're gonna jump on the call now my boyfriend from miami me from england and uh, yeah like her team from italy so that's gonna be quite interesting it's all Lulu, I forgot to tell you. You see the brown door in yeah. the render? Yeah. It's gonna be gone. Are you sure? I think that's what she said. Lulu told me. Okay. I love the I love the room, but I think the door is gonna be gone. She's knocking it down. She's amazing. Best news, but. I think yeah. what I didn't understand because she was speaking in Italian. That's why I'm checking because you know these things. Yeah. I'm always catching the words. I think she said she's removing the door yeah. in the living room, but she will put them in so the me, wardrobe. So let me let me explain it to you. That door, okay. where is the is the okay. door now? That will be wall, white wall. Okay. We we need to make some priorities. If you say I, we really don't like the two couches like that, like one facing the other. We yeah, really yeah, no. want the cornery couch. I mean, the TV yeah. will be just an accessory. So when you use it and you look at it, you, we put it in front of the library. And then when you do an event and you invite people, whatever, we will like move it into another room or with a... Uh, yeah. uh, So the call's done, I am going to now call my boyfriend to discuss the pieces that we really like. You know, like sometimes you're like, okay, I love the couch, but is it going to work for my lifestyle, for the needs, for practicality, and for most important thing, confidence. So we're going to discuss that. And after that, I think like I really want to go to bed early tonight and just watch something, enjoy, relax, even though... I have to wake up again early tomorrow morning for some appointments. Fun! Exactly the same thing. No, I love the couch. It's true, to be honest, that it's not gonna be the couch where baby is not that cozy. You know, we cannot watch things and you lying on me. You know what I mean? You don't think it's we can be like Cocolosi? No, not really. It's super cool. I love it. But it's not something that, you know, you chill there. No. Night, so but even maybe the current couch, is it the coziest couch of your life? No, but that, uh, maybe it is cozy because maybe I can lie. You stay straight, I stay straight. In this one, we won't stay straight. So mm. we need to think about this. But it's okay. I mean, uh, 
as long as there is a very comfortable chair in case you want to, I don't know. Let's see, this. maybe we can go and try the couch. Yeah, totally. Okay. Um, maybe I need to leave you because I have no battery. Me too, I, I have to go. I have I so many stay. calls and things to do. Yeah. Okay, okay. I love you very much. Ciao, I love you too. Bye. Guys, still same spot where you left me, but I've done a bunch of work. I even masked. I organized my week. I did a lot of emails, boring work, responded to all of your comments under my YouTube videos, which is very important to me and I enjoy it thoroughly. And I'm literally, I caught myself nodding off because I'm so sleepy. It's 9.48. And I'm gonna go to bed because there's nothing better than sleeping early and waking up early, if you ask me at least. So, the end of the day, which wasn't really, I don't know what, but there are some days that are just like this. Days that I literally just have to take care of bits and bobs. And um, that was today. Even though I really had intentions of showing you the advent calendar, there are some of them you can see there. And unbox some of the bits. I spend most of the day like kind of finishing off tasks and getting over the jet lag but tomorrow I will open the advent calendars I will show you the boxes I will be released from quarantine fingers crossed and I think it's going to be a little bit better of a day because when like everything you know was so hectic I just needed a moment to breathe and I know that I'm traveling again very soon so yeah that's just it. But one, what went really well today is that I'm very happy that I fully unpacked everything today. That makes me very happy. I know it seems like such a little thing, but I'm happy that everything, well, kind of everything's unpacked. And um, I will have to pack again soon. So, you know, it'll be way, way, way easier. Also, I'm very happy that my office wardrobe room is tidy, that I can breathe, that I can do my stuff, that I have my space. And I think it's very important to be grateful and happy for the little things so that was my day today tell me what is one thing that went really well in your day today i think it's so important to focus on good things rather than to focus on what didn't go well or what could have gone better sometimes it's good to learn from our own actions and our own mistakes but i think it's so important to at the end of the day be like this went really well this one little thing also i didn't show you that but i made a really good toast sandwich this morning for breakfast that was great so that's it and um, i also what i think went really well is that we found well we did find a place where we want to spend our new year's eve however you know that meme omicron is laughing <laughs> well i hope not because i just want to book it so yeah that's about it um exciting things ahead and i will see you guys tomorrow night night